Distinguished Delegate from India. Thank you, Mr. President. India welcomes the delegation of Nepal led by His Excellency Mr. Kamal Thapa, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs. Mr. President, the people of Nepal, having endured a devastating earthquake in April 2015, are facing another tough challenge during the ongoing political transition. Violence and instability in parts of Nepal has worsened in the run-up to and after the adoption of the Nepal's constitution in September 2015. Over 45 persons died, mostly civilians, and hundreds injured. Firings which had ceased just after the adoption of the constitutions have reoccurred. We are concerned over the lack of political progress. We note the concerns expressed by the UN human rights bodies, UN country team, and Nepal's own human rights commission over continuing incidents of violence, extrajudicial killings, and ethnic discrimination in the country. We urge the government of Nepal to investigate and take credible measures to prevent their recurrence. Problems facing Nepal are political in nature and cannot be resolved through force or a security-based approach. As a close and friendly neighbor, India has consistently appealed to the government of Nepal to address all challenges in a spirit of dialogue and reconciliation. We recommend the government of Nepal to consolidate the constitution building and democratization process by accommodating all sections of Nepal to enable broad-based ownership and participation. Ensure effective functioning of Truth and Reconciliation Commission and full implementation of its recommendations, including prosecution of those responsible for violent insurgency. Ensure the independence and financial autonomy of the National Human Rights Commission and set up an independent commission for children and women. Mr. President, obstruction referred in the Honorable Leader of Leader Delegation Statement is on Nepalese side caused by the Nepalese protesters. India with deep-rooted historic and cultural Very ties will continue sorry. to extend all... The time is up. It's being mentioned here also that after the promulgation of the constitution, 45 people have died. That is not true. Those unfortunate incidents had taken place before the promulgation of the constitution. Yes, in the Madhis, the southern plain, in around eight districts out of 75 districts, some Madhis based political parties have started agitation demanding some changes in the constitution. This is Nepal's internal problem. And we are competent enough to address those, those issues on our own. The present government has asked all the agitating political parties to come for dialogue. Mr. President, it's my pleasure that the government has entrusted me as head of the dialogue team. And we have already completed four rounds of dialogue with the agitating political parties. I believe that we will be able to resolve this crisis through consensus and within the framework of the Constitution. But, under any pretext, disruption of supply lines, disruption of transit is not acceptable. For a landlocked country, Nepal, this has become a very serious issue. Because of the Disruption of supply lines, especially fuels and essential commodities. Almost all educational institutions are forced to be closed. Mr. President, more than 2,000 industries are closed. Tourism has badly affected in the overall economy 
It's very unfortunate, Mr. President, that the massive earthquake which we in which we estimated around 7 billion of loss in economic terms. This crisis in last two and a half months alone it's estimated that more than 5 billion U.S. dollar loss has been estimated. For a country like Nepal, you can imagine, Mr. President, how much suffering we are passing through. At times when we were celebrating the festivals, people had no cooking gas. The vehicular movement all over the country is less than 10 percent. Is that justifiable? Can't Nepal has its own authority to promulgate constitution? Mr. President, I'm sorry if I become a bit emotional. But that is, I think, what we are suffering today.